guys, welcome to my cooking. Here I'm making a new recipe. I am making gyros. For this recipe, I chose cucumbers, and the cucumbers are to make tzatziki. Tzatziki is usually for the side dish. Um, it's to add to the uh, gyros. Um, I'm going to add this to the tzatziki in just a second. We use the sour cream and garlic and mix it up with pepper, garlic, fine cut garlic or minced garlic and then you add this cut cucumber. Here I'm cooking the cut chicken with garlic, Italian seasoning or you can use oregano, basil and garlic powder or garlic uh, salt and olive oil and you cook it to perfection. Here I'm going to add the cucumber to the tzatziki. I have the sour cream and I am now going to stir the cucumber into the sour cream and make it a well mixed tzatziki. And the tzatziki is ready. It's done. It can now be added as a side to the gyros and be put into the gyros pitas and it tastes really really good and it's typical for this Greek dish. Here I'm cutting up a green cabbage and this is also a side for the gyros. It is made for a salad and you'll see in just a second what the salad is for. Here you see that I cut the green cabbage into shreds. It is now becoming a salad. This is also the side for the gyros and will be added into the pita with the tzatziki and it will become a gyros pita. And now for the finishing touches. I have now added water, olive oil, a little bit of garlic powder, salt, pepper, sugar, and vinegar. You can use white vinegar and then season to taste and then you add it to the pita and the tzatziki to the gyros pita and I will show you the pita when it's done. And this is how a filled gyros pita looks like. It is filled with the salad, the gyros uh, meat and with which is chicken, gyros chicken and the tzatziki and voila it's done. It is very delicious, it's light and it's so so yummy. I hope this is an easy recipe to cook. Enjoy! Thank you for watching, please thumbs up, subscribe and thank you for, for stopping by. Thank you! Dankeschön! Tschüss!